morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me. It's an absolute delight to be here today to, to serve you uh, and to give you the very, very, very best information to help you be incredible, help you be amazing, help you create an unbelievable life because you can. You know, you, you literally can. And today's the day. Monday is the day where we broad, broadcast publicly so anyone in the world uh, can watch this. And one of the things we would really appreciate is, uh, is you sharing this because you never know who will watch this and just find it maybe by chance uh, and this information seriously changing their life. Because today we're going to really delve into one of the keys to popular psychology, to personal development, you know, because this isn't just stuff that is based off some ideas that someone has just come up with and, you know, oh, this is a nice idea. A lot of the ideas that we share with you are based uh, out of science, you know, based out of years of research, of studying information. Uh, and, you know, I've dedicated my life and I will continue to dedicate my life to be here for people just like you, because I believe in you. You're obviously here for a reason. Maybe you've just found this by chance. Who knows? But chances are you're here because you want more than you have right now. And some people think it's wrong to want to have more, to achieve more. But what we're going to be looking at today is really helping you uh, change the way you see and view uh, what your life is all about. You know, what is your life all about? It's a big question to ask. You know, one of the biggest questions you can ask anyone is, what's the meaning of life? And then, the, you know, perhaps just a bigger question is, what's the meaning of your life? And it's like, whoa, 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 hold it with all these questions. You know, I just want to be like everybody else. I don't want to change. Or do you want to change? Do you believe, my friends here on Instagram, my friends here on Facebook, do you believe that the best is yet to come? Because let me tell you, what we're going to look at today is working out exactly what it is that you stand for in life. So if I was to ask you that question, and, and, and I'm going to tell you this because I, I deeply care for you, whoever you are, wherever you are in the world, I want to tell you something of, of huge importance. Um, and I first of all, I want to thank you for being here because, you know, you don't have to be here, but you obviously are. And if you're sharing this information, once again, thank you very much. But when we look at popular psychology, and it's it's evolved, the whole movement of helping people develop their psychology has moved. For years, people thought it was about happiness and measuring happiness was how satisfied you were, how fulfilled you were in your life. Satisfied is a terrible word, but that's what they, they used to, to measure. Like, are you satisfied with your life? It's like, I don't know about you, but I want to be more than satisfied. I want to be fulfilled. And what popular psychology now looks like is look is looking more at is wellness. And when we talk about wellness, we're not just talking about uh, physical, we're talking about mental, emotional, but it's so much easier to be healthy, to be your best when you know what you stand for. And when you ask people what they stand for, few people will tell you, you know, very few people will be able to nail it and say, this is what I stand for. And that's what I really, really want to help you to understand, because I promise you, if you knew what you stood for, take a moment to imagine how different your life might become. Now, let's, there goes the cat. The cat just is not interested in personal development. By cat, doesn't like the tone of my voice, not interested, because cats don't need to develop themselves in the way that we do. Because if we don't develop ourselves, we become victim of a society that is preying on our weaknesses. That cat is not preyed upon by weaknesses of anyone apart from the cat next door and maybe a couple of other cats, which often make it a little bit insecure, but that cat is pretty happy. That cat is not subject to a media or a world that says, you're not good enough. You have to, that cat didn't have to do exams, you know, do its O levels, GCSEs, A levels. That cat hasn't tried to fit into a society. The cat is just the cat. With us, we have to go to work on ourselves because if we don't, we will fall prey. And once you know what you stand for, so let me ask you, for example, what do you think Oprah Winfrey stands for? Don't tell me, just what do you think she stands for? She obviously stands for something, right? What do you think Mahatma Gandhi stood for? What do you think uh, President Obama 
stood for? What do you think Roger Federer stands for? What about you? What do you stand for? Now, it doesn't have to be something grandiose and massive like to save the world, but I actually do believe you could save the world. What do you stand for? I'll tell you what I stand for, if you want to know. I stand for inspiring people to be better than their best every single day. So what we need to do, we need to bring out the drawing board and we need to help you. We really need, this is probably some of the most important things I'm ever going to say to any of you. Because once you know what you stand for, and if you stand for this every single day, right, your life will transform like you will never, ever, 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 ever believe to know what you stand for. So the point where someone says, what do you stand for? You could tell them and in a way which might make them go, oh, that's interesting. But it's not just necessarily about what you stand for in terms of things outside of yourself. What do you stand for internally? And you know, getting up again, you know, like I do, kind of back in the norm of things, working as I do to help you, to give you this information, to really help you transform your life. This is what I was looking at this morning, and I just have to, I just have to write this down because these are the cornerstone, right? If you're looking at the cornerstone of what you stand for, it's called values and virtues, all right? They're, they're very similar. Let's just call them virtues. These are my, or call them values, because you probably know that word. These are my core values. That's what you need to think about standing for. And the cornerstone of all values are courage, right? Having courage. How many of you have courage? You probably have courage in some areas of your life, but these are the cornerstones. The other, which might surprise you, is mastery or self-mastery mastering something. These are the cornerstones. Integrity is another one, right? I know I'm probably not spelling that cor correctly. These are the cornerstones, right, of of habits. Courage, uh, transcendence, another one. There's, there's four, five, sorry, transcendence. And there's the cat meowing. Transcendence. And the last one is uh, love. In fact, there's another one. There's six and wisdom, right? These are the cornerstone. If you can stand for these and develop these in your life, your life, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't think you guys on Instagram can see this. I'll just show it to you, right? These here, look, courage, self-mastery, integrity, transcend, transcendence, love, and wisdom. When you see people that go to work on developing these, their lives will transform. And it's not something you do once. It's something you've got to do you don't have to do it every day, but if you don't, it's so easy to go back to default. So how do you develop your courage? Courage is having the heart to do things, even when you don't feel like it. Self-mastery is all about getting better at something. This is something that every human being, I could talk about these for hours, but let's just talk about, this is one I'm deeply passionate about. Because listen, we all want to get better at something. It's within our within our DNA and society prays victims to that. Some of us want to get better at watching EastEnders. Why? Because they keep churning them out. There's a part of your brain that thinks, I need to master this. I need to stay tapped into this to getting better at this. And we now live in a society that kind of frowns upon mastery. You know, but if you want to get better at something, it takes dedication, it takes application, it takes courage, it takes integrity. Integrity is just about being honest, being honest with yourself. You know, and we think about what is a happy, what we're we talking about here. We're talking about working out what you stand for. And hopefully most of you stand for a, a happy, fulfilled life. That's what I stand for. But knowing how to stand for that, that's where most people just fall down. They don't realize if they get better at something, even if they don't feel like it, it really helps to boost uh, who they are and who they stand for. If they have courage, there's something inside people which, which they love the fact that they see that they're growing. If they're honest with themselves, if they transcend, to transcend for me is overcoming your some of your limitations. You know, some of the limitations in here of I'm not good enough. 
of transcending things that maybe you thought about yourself, just getting better, to love. Well, we talk about this a lot on My365. And not just talking about the love of, uh, you know, the, the love that you have for your parents or they have for you or for your partner or for your children. That's a great love. And it is great to develop that, you know. But it's also great to give love to people, to strangers, even if it's by a look or a smile. You know, these are the things. And then wisdom, to learn. We have a brain that loves to learn. But we, we, we are so trapped into learning nonsense. Put, put on the news right now and think, is there anything there that you've just learned that has changed your life? If you go to work today, you'll be, if you see a newspaper, you'll be tempted to pick it up and just read what is wrong because you're looking in the wrong place. And that, as many of you know, is why I believe My365 is the best opportunity in the world. There is no better opportunity right now for you to go to work on this because we, because we show up every single day. This is what your life needs to be about. This is it. If you stand for this, your life will transform. And by the way, our elite members, you think that this is just the beginning of this? You wait till tomorrow. You're gonna, I'm going to show you, but I'm not going to show you, but I'm going to show you something that you can do to work out your unique, your unique. These are universal. You look at, you study happiness. You look at the work of Martin Seligman, who's probably one of the most well-known people in positive psychology. This is not based on, he's just idea. This is based on hundreds of thousands of people filling in questionnaires to find out. And these are the cornerstone of anyone's life. And I manifest these as best as I can every single day. They're universal. But what about unique? Unique to you. You want to know what my unique uh, values are? Remember, what you stand for are your values. These are my unique ones. They won't, they won't surprise you. The first one I stand for is fairness. That's what I stand for, fairness. The second one might not surprise you is humor. The third one is kindness, you know? This is what I stand for. This is universe, This is unique to me. The third one is creativity. I love to create. Creativity. And the third is perspective. I love. These are my, these are my top signature strengths, my signature virtues. And I'm going to help you guys work out and show you how to do this yourself. Because once you know what you stand for, you just think, you know what, I'm not feeling great today. Okay, if you're not feeling great today, that's okay. But how can you bring a bit of this into the world? My goal is to bring these into the world. Do you think I do this every day? How many of you think I do this? Practice fairness. How many of you think I practice humor? You see, if I'm not feeling great, I will look to do something which makes me laugh. I look to make my wife laugh. I'm so lucky that, that I do make her still laugh and smile after all these years. Um, kindness, you know, I just look to be kind. Self-kindness is the, the biggest challenge. I look to create. For me, creative is just listening, learning, and perspective. I thrive on giving all of you a different perspective of things. So you go, you know what, Pete, I've never thought of it before. I never thought of it like that before. Listen, we're only here for one reason. And every time I see my nieces join me, it just gives me great joy because she's the next uh, uh, generation of, of people. And, and hopefully she does this naturally. She doesn't have to work at this. But the more she becomes like everybody else, the more she loses, which many of us do, we lose what life is all about. And I think life is all about having the courage to be a, the, the person that you truly want to be looking to get better at things, whatever that is, whatever it is to get better, singing, dancing, reading, writing, whatever it is, making, designing, just to get better. Just I'm getting better at this. Whoa, I'm enjoying this. Integrity, just to be honest, do what you say you're going to do uh, as best as you can. Transcendence, to overcome some of the limitations. We've all got limitations. That's what makes us interesting. And love, to give love to give it, to give love. I'm giving love to you guys like you wouldn't believe. I adore every single one of you, not just because you're here and you could be watching the news. It's just that you're here. And there's this positivity resonance and wisdom, wisdom. We talked about this last week. I don't know how many of you saw my post on Instagram talking about uh, education. And the problem with the education system is that we're teaching people to learn things, but so they can regurgitate them and not use them. And education really needs to start focusing on how to help people apply this stuff. 
And that's why I'm here every day. So hopefully you'll go away and you will actually think about this and think, yes, that is what I stand for. What do you stand for? Don't stand for just nonsense. Don't And don't know what you don't know. Don't know what you don't stand for. Because that's what the world needs. Don't you think the world needs more and more people say, this is what I stand for, and I'm standing for it every day. I'm standing for my health. I'm standing for my well-being. And as we wrap this up, you know, last week um, we did a, a questionnaire. How many of our elite members have gone through that questionnaire of how My365 has helped their mental health? If you have not done that, please do it today. Please do it straight after this broadcast. Uh, we've had 88 people do it. I want to get at least 100 people to do that. So please, that'll be very helpful to us. But a whole load of people also made videos um, about how their mental health has improved. And I really appreciate that. And I learn a lot from, from watching. I have not watched all of them. But what was really interesting to me was watching that, was obviously looking at how much honesty that people have, but also how it's not about Oh, my mental health has improved. Hooray. I am confident. I am. No, 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 no. It's not like that all the time, right? We, we know that. It's not like that all the time. It's doing the best that you can every single day. And some days are more difficult uh, than others. Everybody knows that. Um, and uh, I'm very thankful for all of you just saying, hey, this is me. Because how many of you get great strength from watching other people on their journey? I do, and I can't thank you enough because, yes, this is the best, the best, the number one opportunity you'll ever have, I believe, in your life to be a part of a community of like-minded people who want you to achieve and succeed, plus world-class world class coaching, plus access to my master classes. If you want to get involved in My365, click on the link. Uh, you can click on the link in my bio or click on the link in this post. Uh, and... Um, you can take advantage. It's one pound for, for seven days. And then you can really, and, and I would encourage a lot of you to do that, especially with what we're going to be doing this week, because I'm going to help you work out what are your key uh, virtues. There in mind. Do they surprise you? Does anyone surprised by that? Pete Cohen, what is his key, vir his unique virtues? Fairness. So you guys can't see this. That's what Pete Cohen is all about. Fairness, humor, kindness, creativity, and perspective. There's one that's missing from that, and that's to inspire. That is what Pete Cohen is all about, inspiring you to find something deep inside yourself to make yourself be incredibly amazing. If you have not done that questionnaire, please go and do it. It'll take 10 minutes uh, to complete, and uh, we would really, 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 really appreciate it. Anyone have any questions before we finish? Powerful broadcast this morning. Your life will transform like you wouldn't believe. My life took a massive step up. And I stepped up with it once I became aware of this because I just know what I'm about and what I'm here to do. And I stand for it. I decide what I stand for. And I stand for it every day. If I don't do this, if you don't do this, you become a victim to what I would call just hanging in the air. That's what my coach used to say. He just said, you're just hanging in the air because you just don't know. And when you have a challenging day, which you will, how quickly can you get back on? How quickly can you turn a horrible, challenging day into a not so bad day? I really hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have presenting this to you. Our elite members will see you tomorrow morning. And I thank all of you just for showing up and being brutally honest. You know, life is not the way it's supposed to be. It is the way that it is. But the way that it is we can change the way that it is and make it more of the way we would like it to be as opposed to being victims. Thank you so much. It's an absolute pleasure. What's your biggest learning from today? What is your biggest learning? Can you? Who's excited right now? Who's fired up and going, wow, you know what? This is unbelievably awesome because I'm about to work out what my life is really all about. Instagrammers, thank you for watching. Keep following me. If you're not following me on Instagram, please do. I'm putting some great stuff out there. Lots of love. Bye, Reva. Have a great day. Uh, I'm just going to make a quick summary here. And if you haven't shared this, uh, please feel free to share it. Uh, let's, let's, let's do this, shall we? Thank you for being here. Uh, guys, it's been an awesome day. We're live with our community of people uh, all over the world here, and it's been amazing. What we've been looking at here today is helping you 
work out what you stand for. Most people don't know what they stand for and because they don't know what they stand for, they fall over. Anything happens in life that uh, is difficult or challenging, they give up. Once you know what you stand for, you're in charge of your life. These are the cornerstone of all uh, popular psychology really is all about uh, courage, self-mastery, integrity, transcendence, love, and wisdom. And once you learn, these are the universal ones, my unique ones, fairness, humor, kindness, creativity, and perspective. That's unique to me. My goal is to help you work out what you stand for and help you stand for that each and every single day. That will transform your life like you would not believe. Click on the link in my bio to find out more about how I can help you transform your life today. Have a great day, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate every single one of you, and we will see you tomorrow.